So the Royal Flu Games or the Blue Games is definitely one of the best Jordan releases of September. Let's take a closer look at this Air Jordan 12. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Air Jordan 12 Retro Game Royal. Uh, before we do that, just do us a quick favor, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and we'll get going. Not that this shoe really needs any introduction, it is the Air Jordan 12 Retro. It is one of the last shoes that Michael Jordan wore in his time with the Bulls, of course, mostly for the 1996-1997 NBA season. This is a brand new retro colorway that never came out before, but we'll talk a little bit about this color blocking style and what Jordan Brand should do or should have done. Before we get into all those details, we're just gonna cover the basics. Uh, the official release date is indeed September 21st, 2019. The retail price is $190, and these are somewhat of a GR. They'll be available at all your big box retailers, Nike.com. And in terms of sizing, these will be available in adults, big kids, little kids, and toddler sizes. So we're looking at another full family size release for Jordan Brand, and uh, the 12s are really, really popular up and down, so uh, we figured these are gonna do pretty well. So uh, it doesn't really need to be said that the Air Jordan 12 is considered to be one of the most popular Air Jordans ever. It did drop during the 96-97 season, designed by Tinker Hatfield, as we mentioned, and some of the more iconic colorways include the Flu Games, which we're kind of basing these off. There's the Taxis with the white with the black. There's a reverse of that called the Playoffs. Of course, there's the Obsidians, and then later on, the retros like the French Blues, and of course, there's the white and red OGs that people are calling the Cherries, which we are not a fan of in terms of uh, the nickname, but the Jordan 12, simple color blocking. You can't get too crazy with it, which is why it stood the test of time, because you can't go too out of the box, and it relies simply on the design and just a two-tone colorway. The Jordan 12 remains as one of the best-selling and most popular Air Jordans of all time. Specifically with girls, you know, Jordan Brand has dropped a bunch of different pink and purple iterations of the 12 and it always sells out and for good measure, it just looks good on feet. Considered a classic for anyone who's a Jordan fanatic, but let's focus on these a little bit. Again, like we said, it is kind of based on the flu games. The flu games have that black leather upper on this uh, outer portion with the exterior stitching up and down the tongue with the two, three even on the medial side again much of the same which is why we like the 12s it's nice and simple we can't go too crazy with materials of course you have the jordan stripe on the heel with the 23 embedded into the outsole that scoops up and of course the jordan jumpman square logo and basically in place of varsity red which is part of the flu games jordan brand decided to swap it out for game royal aka the blue games that's a fun little nickname that's attached to this release again it's you know royal blue is not exactly canon to michael jordan's chicago bulls days but it's a clean colorway it'll pretty much go with anything the color blocking on these is very on point and we're a big fan you know it's surprising that there weren't more colorways like this that have released in the past you know as you know you know jordan brand is going kind of ham with the air jordan one releasing a whole bunch of colorways so they should do that with the air jordan 12 because it is such a widely popular shoe um, there are rumors of a black and yellow Gary Payton PE style coming out in 2020, but they should drop, you know, some other PEs that they made. You know, there's the uh, the Darius Miles PEs, Ray Allen's PEs. At this point, you know, no PE or sample or whatever is safe. They should just drop whatever's an attractive colorway. Jordan Brand really needs to stick to basics because what makes the shoes look great is the design and not necessarily the over-the-top colorways. Of course, there are the exceptions where Jordan Brand got a little creative. There are the Doran Becker designs that a little too wacky, but if you're a fan of the 12, you definitely appreciate you know, the simplistic nature of this release. Two-tone colorway really, really works for this shoe. We would love to see more black and accent colors or even a white with accent colors. But yeah, you know, simple is better when it comes to Jordan 12s. This is a prime example of that. Again, with most Air Jordan retros that are considered GRs, these aren't gonna fly off the shelves necessarily, but if you want a pair, just don't sleep on the release date. Cop them at retail, and they will be available at full family sizes from adult, grade school, little kids, and toddler. We think it's one of the best drops of uh, the September month. So again, you know, we hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Let us know in the comments what other colorways you'd like to see on the Jordan 12, or if you think they should bring back other OGs. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and like the video. We'll catch you in the next one.